All right, hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. So it looks like um, in the next 72 hours, you need to show the world the real you, okay? Put yourself out there. You have some ideals, some dynamic about yourself that you've been holding back. Do know that you are good enough um, it can be as simple as wearing your own hair for some of you or wearing something that is unconventional or it's not uh, necessarily uh, the latest trend or a fashion, but you like it. Um, it could be something, you know, just as, as small as that. It also also can be as big as an ideal that you have and you want to present it to the world. It may be controversial. It may be something that uh, puts you in a place of being in the hot seat. Uh, people adding you, you know, people wanting to come at you. So um, it says show the world the real you, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius for the next 72 hours. What's going on for Aquarius for the next 70, 72 hours? Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this card just wanted to flip out. All right. Uh, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Okay. Um, we just uh, got out of Leo season. Okay. So pride. Pride comes before the fall. Uh, if you need to apologize, if you need to take a step back, if you need to um, acknowledge something about you or yourself or situation, acknowledge it. Deal with the emotions. Process the emotions and how you feel. Process those thoughts. Something could be pulling on your heartstring or you don't want to deal with something because it's a blow to your ego or to your pride here. Uh, don't let pride get in the way of moving forward, of healing. This could be something as simple as realizing that um, maybe somebody did have you as a side person. It puts you in a place of feeling like you weren't enough, okay? Um, and you don't want to deal with those emotions there. You want to just mask it over or masquerade around as if that just didn't hurt you or it doesn't hurt or, um, you know, those things could be true in terms of it. maybe it doesn't hurt as much or you want to masquerade like this person didn't hurt you or not being chosen or the chosen one didn't hurt you. Deal with all those emotions, Aquarius, all right? What's coming in for the Aquarius for the next 72 hours? Yeah, take time to breathe out. Some of you just breathing in, breathing hard, breathing in, you're just doing a lot of work, overworking yourself. Um, you need to get to a place of rest, relaxation, balance. Stop. Just stop. Slow down. Uh, take time to breathe out. Breathe out. You know, exhale, okay? Let it go, whatever it is. Um, decompress stress related activity um you need to decompress from it you also need to do some uh stress releasing activity here whatever that may be you know everybody's got their own uh stress relieving activity all right what's coming in for the aquarius for the next 72 hours here uh, wow you are good enough aquarius full moon in virgo um you could be dealing with a Virgo, something about Virgo. Maybe you need to apologize. Maybe you need to make, you know, Olive Branch or someone will do this with you. Someone wants something to work here. Someone sees the value in you and maybe you see the value in them. Um, understand that you are good enough, okay? Um, someone could have tried to diminish your value or devalue you by, by uh, putting you in a box or putting you in a place of... Um, it had you questioning you, what you brought to the table. It had you questioning maybe your intellect, uh, your looks. Um, it had you questioning um, your emotional stance. Maybe someone called you crazy or uh, bipolar or um, called you out of your name. Something of that. You need to know that you are good enough. You are valuable. You don't have to deal with. You don't have to be around. You don't have to um, suffer. Wow. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to suffer somebody's bad behavior. 
okay? And if you're dealing with people who trigger you, get rid of triggers, all right? We do not keep triggers in our life. We don't learn how to walk around the mind field or the live mind. We get rid of, you know, being in that space where we don't have to ha have to ever see that mind feel. We don't have to ever be around a ticking time bomb, you know, or we don't have to tiptoe so that we aren't the ticking time bomb. Okay. So something about decompress, de-stress, trigger, elimination. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. We're going to get three cards. Let's see. All right, six of swords. Some of you could be traveling. Yes, you're doing some uh, decompressing, de uh, some uh, stress relieving activity here. You've moved on from something. Um, you could just be actually just traveling, uh, resting, peace, serenity, um, finding your peace and your serenity, just doing things in secrecy. Um, not in hiding, but in secrecy, um, not really presenting yourself uh, to the world right now uh, because you're going through the healing process. All right, let's see what's going on from my Aquarius. Yeah, the Three of Swords could be healing from uh, previous relationships uh, where you just didn't come out on top. Again, you could be moving on in shame, says the Six of Swords sometimes, or moving on in defeat. You didn't win in that Five of Swords type of battle. Maybe because someone was against you in the beginning, from the beginning. It wasn't set up for you to win. Someone, you had to question someone's motive anyhow. Uh, someone was jealous, envious, uh, spiteful. There was bad blood. There was backbiting. There is, um, maybe you're not talking to this person. Again, there's an energy of moving on, needing to deal with the emotions and the thoughts of maybe an event, something that happened, something that transpired between you and someone else. Somebody's heart and mind is divided in terms of you, three of swords, in terms of the connection. There is a breakdown in communication. There is uh, little to no communication. Or if you do talk to this person, the communication is not effective. There's a bit of isolation, alienation here. Um, maybe you put up the blinders to, or you isolated yourself from a particular person. Uh, maybe because you need to heal. Uh, maybe someone had you in a third party situation. Again, going against the grain, trying to be in something that was always a losing battle. So um, you're trying to move forward here. Um, let's see. Nine of Wands. All right, so somebody's watching you. There could be a new admirer here, secret admirer. Uh, there's also someone watching you from afar. Someone has kind of gotten out of the connection because it got too heavy, too intimate, too personal, too close. And now they want to withdraw, create the distance, and then they'll come back, do the same thing. When it gets too heavy, too close, too hot to handle, they'll create the distance. This is a person's coping mechanism. This is how a person stays detached, detached from relationships here also. Somebody is the wounded warrior. When they did give their heart, when they did give their devotion, it got stumped on. They got trampled. They didn't get what, what it is they really wanted out of the connection. Maybe they got misused or taken advantage of. Therefore, there's somebody who just doesn't know how to be in connection. They don't know how to be vulnerable. This person is in a constant mode of survival. This could be you, Aquarius. It could be the other person. This is not a person who's about thriving, <clears throat> cultivating, moving things forward. They're in a place of just survival. How can I come out on top? How can I survive in this connection? How do I get my needs met? Because that is what survival is. You throw somebody in the middle of nowhere, you got to survive, right? You got to figure out how to get your needs met. What do you need? You need water, you need food to survive. So this person is in relationship with other people trying to figure out how they can survive. Now they can thrive and make the relationship better, grow, have growth, prosperity, cultivate the connection. No, they're just trying to figure out where is the next quote unquote meal coming from? How can I just um, get what I want? You know, I'm very self-centered. 
I need to focus on me because that is how I thrive. That is how I'll, I'll survive. I can't even say thrive because this person is not growing. Um, could be dealing with a Cancerian person. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Sagittarius person, Virgo. Um, you could be dealing with um, a Leo here. Anybody. Um, the next 72 hours, it looks like this person is looking back on the connection. There is separation here. You could be looking back. This person is looking back. This person puts you in a place of, um, yeah, just really a mind fuck here. Like they were just me playing mentals with you. I think they saw something in you that you didn't see in yourself. Therefore, they felt like, let me devalue this person. Let me take advantage here. Let me get the upper hand by playing the mentals. And Aquarius, uh, maybe you went along with it, willingly, unwillingly, not knowing, I don't know. But it is what it is. But it looks like you're in a place where you need to cope now. Cope with the residual energy. Yeah, you may be out of it and it's long gone out of your life, but it is resurfacing. Or if it's not resurfacing for you, then the reading is not for you. It's for another Aquarius. These are not personal readings. All right, so many blessings to you. Take care. Thank you. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me.